Absolutely. And we know it's been a while since you've been able to get a haircut, but that can all change tomorrow. If you're comfortable, round two of Governor Abbott's order goes into effect at midnight and that allows hair and nail salons to reopen. 12 News reporter Victoria Dillion is live with the rules you and your stylist have to follow. Well, starting tomorrow, your trip to the hair salon, it's going to look a lot different. You can expect to see lots of PPE, social distancing, and extra sanitizing. But even with all these precautions in place, some city leaders think it's still too soon. Hair and nail salons were given the green light from Governor Abbott Tuesday. The news was a shock to some. It was. I didn't even know about it. I didn't including it. Rochelle Jean, who owns Strand's Hair Spa and Boutique in Port Natchez. We were not expecting it at all. We were hoping to be back on the 18th, but when we found out the 8th, we were like, wow. Okay, so we knew that we had a lot of work to do. Friday, Rochelle's hair salon will reopen for the first time in over a month, but with strict rules following Governor Abbott's orders. It'll be an adjustment that she says is worth it. I'll be happy to do whatever we need to do to keep all of our clients safe and us safe and make have the customers feel very comfortable to come in. There can only be one customer inside per stylist. Each stylist must be six feet apart and face masks are recommended. We're actually not going to even take money, um, you know, cash or checks. We're setting up some, you know, non-touching ways of payment. Even with all these precautions in place, some city leaders feel it's still too soon to start reopening. As mayor of the city of Port Arthur, I strongly oppose the opening of these facilities. Thursday, Port Arthur Mayor Thurman Barty said we're not out of the woods just yet and continue to encourage his residents to remain cautious. Some owners and even some operators have expressed that they will not open on tomorrow because of the uncertainty of the pandemic. But salon owners like Rochelle believe they're well prepared to reopen safely. And, uh, I know everyone's ready to get back to normal but we'll do what we can to keep everyone safe for sure. Now Rochelle tells me some services won't be available like shampooing or hair drying. So stylists are asking for your patience as they continue to navigate these new guidelines. And remember, it's all to keep you safe. Live in Port Natchez, I'm Victoria DeLeon, 12 News.